Good day to all. Thank you for coming to this Catching Up with the Athletes Talk. This talk aims to motivate the next Filipino athletes to work hard and play hard for their respective sports. Another aim is to motivate the kids to believe in the things that they are capable of doing. And lastly, for the kids to know that they can do all things. My name is Ian A. Manalag, and I am the president of the Philippine Youth Basketball Association. I am so pleased to be with you all tonight and to have the chance to introduce our guest speaker for today. He is one of the best athletes known in the Philippine Basketball Association. He is known for his physicality and the big heart he has for the game. He always interacts with the fans and they love to see him work hard and play hard every day because of his own brand of basketball. He is also a starting center at one of the most famous PBA team which is the Raider Shank Elasto Painters. He has been one of the main proponents of this program for several years and is a true standout on this field. He has a great understanding of, sp of sports, especially basketball, and a great appreciation of what it takes truly to make one skill into his own strength. He has also a remarkable vision of the future of basketball in the Philippines. In his early life, he was born and raised in Gubat, Sorsagon, and is the eldest among the three siblings. His father was a family driver while his mother was a housewife. At a young age, he he helped his grandmother sell balut, penoy, and other goods. He finished his high school education in Sorsogon. As a kid, he was very thin and was often bullied. As a way of escape, he focused his attention on basketball. In his college career, he decided to go to Manila and study at Philippine Christian University. He was recruited to play for the PCU Dolphins with the school swimming coach while he was playing for billiards with his friends. While at PCU, he along with future PBA stars Gabby Espinas and Jason Castro helped the team win its first ever NCAA title against Post School University of Perpetual Health in 2004. He was the seventh overall draft pick by Pure Foods in 2008 before being traded to Burger King after that. He also has also been traded to Raider Shark Alaska Painters. He found his niche as a basketball player while playing for Coach Shane Shane or Shane Elasto Painters, where he was known as one of the league's toughest players. While with Shane or Shane, he also became teammates with J.R. Kinahan, and together they formed a duo in the low block called the Extra Rise Incorporated, owing to their weight and huge appetite. In, in his international career in, the 20, in 2013, he was added to the Gilas Filipinas training program that competed in the 2013 FIBA Asia Championship and was considered the 13th man since he was the last man cut from the 12-man national team roster. In 2014, he was included in the Gila roster that played for the 2014 FIBA Asia Cup in Wuhan, China, 2014 FIBA World Cup in Spain, and 2014 Asian Games in Incheon, South Korea. Besides that, he is also just a fascinating and entertaining person and we're all in for a tip today. Here is a short video of his professional career highlights. Let's watch some of his amazing and remarkable highlights before anything else. Looks like he was short. There's gonna be the timeout. Oh! Now that, that, that might be the oh, strong drive. Big go bend. Wala lang mas lalakas pa sa pagsagasay na doon. Kaya Espinas, brought to you by Fulton. Empower your business. Actually, uh, seriously. Now, please join me in welcoming Mr. Bo 
Michael Vincent Esparra Go Belga. Let's see. <laughs>